watching God's Word for You Today program, an online Bible teaching ministry of Maranatha Baptist Church, Villamonte, Bacolod City, Philippines. This program is designed to make the time-tested, solid Word of God relevant to your life's need today. God's Word for You Today is found in And it came to pass when she was in hard labor that the midwife said to her, Fear not, you shall have the son also. Uh, Duhana ka mga series of fear nots nga naghalin sa ginoo. And this time naman mga kauturan, we have fear not nga ini naman naghalin sa tawo. So there are four observations nga tuntunan sa sini nga dinalan sang kasulatan. Of course, the story mga kauturan talks about uh, Rachel and this is her last labor and her last son. This is the 12th son of Jacob. Of course, we know that his name is Benjamin and uh, that was uh, uh, given by the father, pero the name given by the mother is Benoni or Benoni. The son of my labor. Pero gin change ni Jacob into Benjamin, the son of my right hand. Pero mga kauturan, in this event, makita naton ang third fear not nga term or words or encouragement from the Bible. So, four observations ang atong makuha dari. Because this is unique fear not. This is not coming from God. This is coming from the midwife. So, ang first observation natin sa fear not there is this. This is an encouragement from man to man. An encouragement from man to man. In the text, may ari kita dari midwife, may ari man dari si Rachel. So, the midwife and Rachel and the midwife is encouraging Rachel to fear not. Sa so, amunang aton tun andri mga kauturan, yes, ang ginuog encourage sa aton pero please don't disregard the encouragement of men to you. Because here is the third fear not in the Bible and it is coming from man to man. So that's the first observation. Second observation sa sining uh, verse, fear not is this an encouragement from man to man because of the circumstance. Because of the circumstance. Circumstance yan, mga kauturan, nga kabudlay. Nga man, Jacob and his family is not in their home. They are from Laban, sa iyang tiyo. Mapuli na sila sa promised land. And then, here comes in the process, sa ilang pagpauli na, Si Raquel nagbusong. And of course, it was uh, told of us by some commentators, ang sininga dinalan chapter 5, that Rachel is now in her old age when she gave birth to uh, Benjamin. That is why the circumstance is so difficult. Nga man, it's not their home. They are on a travel. Third, there is no hospital during that time. Ti mga kauturan na kabudlay git sa sitwasyon nga wala na siya nurse. So the midwife nga upod nila is encouraging Rachel in this circumstance. Pero ti kabudlay nga sitwasyon sa kabuhi ni Rachel. Third observation na to, not only that this is an encouragement from man to man, encouragement from man to man because of the circumstance. Third, this fear not is an encouragement from man to man to be courageous during difficult times. Well, mga kauturan, we are living in somewhat difficult times in our time today because of the pandemic. Mga kauturan, actually, ang pandemic, gindugang lang sa mga madamo ng mga pagtilaw nga nagaag, ginaagyan natun ng mga kaanakan sang Dios. But I want you to know that even in the midst of difficult times, there are people whom God used to come to you and give you encouragement. They may not use the word fear not, but the word of encouragement nga ila mahambal can be used by God for you. This time, the midwife is encouraging Rachel. Siling sang verse, she was in hard labor. 
nga a hard labor kay walay hapos nga labor kon magbata ka siling nila kung sisarian hapos lang no kay matulog lang injectionan pero wala takabalok kun ano ang ara sa mga ginabatyag no si misis sisarian tatlo ka bata ibandera may sisarian man i don't know which is better but still mga kautoran in this hard times and difficult times of the life of Rachel she received an encouragement from the midwife so also in our time today we are living in a difficult times but i want you to know if people will come and text you of encouraging words believe and be encouraged by the words they texted you or somebody had just waved his hand and smiled at you received that encouragement because at this moment in time ang mga taong subong hadlok malatnan sang COVID amo ina nga gapahimunong sa balay lunis pa kadto domingo pero salamat kay ginaapruba na nga may 10% of the building capacity ang pwede magkadto sa church to worship him there are people who won't come out of their homes. Why? Because of fear na malatnan sila sang COVID. But this time, I would like to knock on the door of your heart. Please, do not be afraid. It's coming from me. I'm a man encouraging you as a man. Do not be afraid. If you felt difficulty in your life this moment in time, I would like to inform you na kita nga mga kaanakan sang Dios kita man lang ang magpabakuray sa isa kag isa. The last observation I have here in this verse is this. Uh, fear not is an encouragement from man to man to be positive thinker mga utod be positive lang think positive here si Ling Sang midwife kay Rachel uh, okay you are having hard labor but fear not you shall have this son also you shall have this son also duha ang pangunahuna sini Uh, of course, wala pa'y ultrasound that time. I don't know kung nabalaan ng lalaki o kung babaeng bata. But this time, an encouragement from the midwife that your child is a boy. Second, meaning pag siling-sining, you, you shall have this child, this son also, that this son will be given birth alive. You will have this son. Of course, the midwife didn't know. He is not, she is not God. To, to know if Rachel will die or not. But that is an encouragement to be a positive thinker. Although we know that after giving birth to Benoni or Benjamin, Rachel died. It's the will of God to take away life, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Pero mula nang gusto na kung maintindihan ninyo that during this pandemic time, the third fear not in the Bible encourages us to be positive thinker. Kung ano man ang ginakulbaan mo subong, positive ka sa COVID-19, o kung may cancer ka, o kung may terminal illness ka, o kung may ara ka nga masakit nga as if amuning mag magtake sang life mo, I would I would like you to be positive thinker. Anong, paano, pastor, mag-positive thinker? Think God. Think about God. Think about His Word. If you cannot think and you have no knowledge about God, I want you to read this word. Meditate on it. Study it. Ara ka man lang sa inyo balay. Gahigda ka man lang. Dasun, pagkatapos siling mo, Pastor, hanap na ang akong mata. Di na ako kabasa. Well, may cellphone ka. O kung may cellphone imong pamilya, nga Android, download ka sang Bible. There are those Bibles nga may speaker na, makahambal na. So, if you cannot read, you can listen to the Word of God or you can listen to God. God's word for you today or you can browse in our damo na mga wali sa Maranatha Baptist Church we have videos and messages sa aton nga YouTube channel if you try to visit there so that you can have encouragement from the word of God because this fear not is an encouragement from man to man so I just want you to think positively and I want you to think about this brothers or sisters when you when somebody encourages you to fear not you better take it as an encouragement from the Lord. I want you to take it an encouragement from the Lord for I know that that is God's word for you today.